ready to push. Right to the top, so. Broke off. Broke off? Tommy Cat through that piano wire. Tell me my business again. What are we doing here, Tommy? Just like the fish. We are drifting live bunker. Right here at the mouth of two of these rivers. We have a river up here and a river here, and there's a Y right here in the, kind of the, the joint of the crotch of the river rivers. And uh, Tommy's got a big old bass on. You see how he's pumping and taking here? But you notice that the rod, the reel isn't wobbling. Even though he has a thumb to guide the line, the reel isn't wobbling. And that's really important. The reason it's not wobbling is because he's using his wrist. He's not using his arm to turn the handle. He's using his wrist. And when you use your wrist, the reel stays straight. So if you have a problem with your reel wobbling a lot, try to concentrate more on using your wrist versus using your elbow, you know? But he's got a chode. Oh, oh, we're about to get another one. Yes, yeah, there it is. Yeah, he'll be a couple of Big girl on top. He's going to run back out. People want to know why we leave the clicker on. It is more than an alarm. It's very important to use the clicker for a lot of things. Right now, we might not be using it for a lot other than to show you the pressure on the fish. You know, the fish runs, you want to be able to hear it. I mean, that's, to me, that's the best part. Uh... <laughs> Ooh, oh, she's following her. Is there? Oh, I bet there is. Head first, just take your time. It's a pretty one, just shorten that, so. I saw that other one. Do you see the other one? Yeah. Here you go. Pretty! Good job, man. Yeah, nice little mm -hmm. Pretty fish. It's that Daiichi circle hood. They don't let go, right? Nope. Get, get a whole live bunker. Cleaned off, cleaned off. <laughs> It'll buff you up nice and clean. There we go. Nice. Good job. Good job, brother. Good job. So we got a live bunker. Show me what we're doing. I'm just poking it through the top of the mouse here. Not too deep in. Just, just a little bit. Just enough to give it, give it a little hold. Dropping her back in. Letting her swim out. 
He's got what three uh, three ounce. Yeah, I got three eighths. Three eighths. Three eighths shot. sharks on there, just to keep it low. Let's move back up there. Let's move back right on the same spot. Go ahead and reel them in. Three in? Yeah. Now we we'll go right back on that same spot because we're almost off it already. You can leave your bait still on the hook. We're not going to move far. That's the game, right there. All that pull up. Okay, this is a big flat area, it's shallow. There is a main channel there. I don't know if you can see that marker out there. Main channel comes all the way here along that bank and goes up there underneath that bridge, okay? Then land comes out, there's another channel, runs across there, and it goes up into that river. And there's another channel that comes this way. So what you have is basically two main channels. You have this one main one here, and then another main one here making a triangle. So we're right here in this triangle area. And it's deep in, the, in those channels, but it's only 10, 11, 12 feet between here and there. And this is the area we're drifting. So we're drifting from channel to channel over a big flat area that has a lot of contours. Got one? Tommy's buttoned up with another one. Yeah. I wanted him to take it. He was just playing with it. Tommy's buttoned up again. He's turning the boat. <laughs> Tommy, you're turning the boat. Bro. Tommy's putting on a clinic here. Had a drift live bunker. So Tommy's process is, is pretty simple. I like it. Ooh. That's why we leave the clicker on. That's why. Sound effects. That's why. Leave it on because you want to hear that. That's <laughs> what you live for, man, right? That's right. Turn boats around. That's what you live for. He's got a full drag on him. Oh, yeah. He's not, not playing light. Oh, my goodness. Tim, get yours out there. I'm putting fresh bait on my guy. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Get a, get a fresh bait. These aren't fresh. Is there a fresh one in the back? These are in bad shape, Tim. Is, is there a fresh one? Is there a good one back there? Yeah, but he's huge. Bro, there's huge fish here. Get him out there. <laughs> Bigger, better. So this is why we leave the clicker on right here, just so you can hear that. Because a lot of people have been asking. They're saying after the fish hooked up, why don't you turn the clicker off? And, I just think it's cooler to leave it on because you hear it scream out. I wouldn't mind a one-way clicker. If the real company designed a one-way clicker where you only hear it click when, you, when it pays out, you know? That fish is so far out that the line is very flat. So it's coming off the Tommy's rod tip and it's very flat parallel to the surface. When the fish is below you, you know, you can, you can get up and down with it. The rod parallel, holding your rod parallel, it still has a 90 down to the water. So it's a nice good angle on your rod. Here, that fish is so far out it's not a nice it's not a 90 it's like what a 120 right it's almost flat to the water so he's got to pull that rod very high to keep a good angle on that fish that's a, oh no same size, same size same size oh look at this lip up there <gasps> yeah same size as the other one <laughs> pretty fish <laughs> three four inch fish here we go same hook spot spot right in the top yep. at daiichi super chunk light
go. Good job, Tommy. So pretty. <laughs> Old school. Old school. Send her back. Why don't you get him releasing it? Uh, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go sit next to Tommy. Head shaker. Come on, girl. There you go. Good job, brother. Man. Good job. All right. The key to catching these fish is shallow. We're fishing shallow. We're fishing shallow water next to deep water. Okay, you can we, we can catch a 50 pound fish in two feet of water, especially if that two feet of water has 30 foot within a football field away. So you can fish very shallow as long as there's deep water nearby. Matter of fact, in the deep water, we didn't catch anything at all today. All the fish came on the shallow flats between the deep water. Once we hit 40 feet of water, nothing at all. Every fish came between 10 and 25 feet of water every fish those are the fish that are feeding they're moving up on the flats to eat we can mark fish in the deep channels but chances are they're not eating there's a very good chance they're not eating at all and we don't want to mess with those we want to look for fish that are moving up in the shallow areas that are ready to put the feed back on they're being aggressive they're thrashing and everything that moves they're the ones you're going to hook easy hopefully tim will show you real quick no sorry <laughs> Tom, yeah, why don't you clear yours, Tommy? Run up to the front, Tim. But keep cranking. Keep that rod bent. Keep that rod. That's it. Good work. Came back to me. Nice fish. <laughs> if you want to back the drag off a touch, you can. You know what I mean? If you want, you can. You can. Let it fight. Play with it. Play with it. I mean, we don't have, just don't let the rod straighten out. Crank down to it, the rod straighten it out, Tim. Yeah, yeah, we want to keep it good and bent. There you go. Oh, Nelly! He's either very small oh, or very dumb. Tim has a very big fish. He's gone under the boat. I heard it. I saw that fish thrash. That's it. That's it. This is a great example of why we leave the clicker on, you know, it's obviously we don't need it on, but the sound of that, that fish oh, is totally line. Look at that. Yeah, As a viewer, put in the comments, do you rather hear that clicker going like that or would you rather just turn it off? I'll follow the way back. That's it. Bring, it. bring your head right to him, that's it. Good fish. Good job, Bubba. Good one. That's <laughs> cute. Thank you. Can't beat a whole bunker, man, out of here in these big flat areas. Let me see where the hook is. Oh, it was right, right there in the corner. Just just in the corner. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Nice yep. fish, brother. Thank you. A real healthy fish in here. Real clean. Up in here, spawning, getting ready to spawn. Yep. Beautiful fish. Matt, why don't you get a lick? Yeah, let me Max a lick. Max, give a lick. Oh, there no biting. That's it. Nice lick. <laughs> Good job, Max. Good job, bro. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Good job. Good job. Tommy's sitting here and he's got the rod nice and high. Only a few split shots on there. He's got a lot of line out. And the reel is engaged. Big circle hook. Now when that fish hits, Tommy, are you letting it run or are you just buttoning it up right away? No, I'm letting it go a little bit so I know it's taking it. Then I'm gonna hit it and I, I lock it up. So he'll put the So I just know he's got it. Right, so he'll no, drop so it. And I drop it off and then I just reel. Would you leave the clicker on? I need the clicker on. So he just drops it down the free spool, brings a lever down with, with the clicker on, lets the thing run until you hear it screaming. And it runs. And I just kick it up, it locks it up, and then uh, I just start reeling it. Just so I know he's got it. Yeah. Really. I'm not going to try to set the hook, I'm not going to try to do all that. That's the big deal, you can't set circle, the hook. That circle hook sets itself. Everybody wants to jump that rod. <laughs> I've seen the best fishermen in the world lose it, get excited and yank, yep. myself included. Yeah, yeah, me too. Probably I mean... a good soft tip too. The striper stealth rods, man, with that soft tip, man, it's just so hard to beat. Live bait, soft tip, very important. This is Max. 
the fish in this fish dog in the fish universe. All right, Max. All right. Yeah. I don't know. Could be.